Eugene, Marathon is just weeks away, and tonight you have an opportunity to get everything you need to make sure that you're good and ready. Yeah, KUCI 9 News Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton joins us live from the place you need to be. I certainly am, guys. In fact, we are live. We've been here all afternoon outside of the Eugene Running Company at the Oakway Mall. Uh, we've had some good traffic earlier today. We've got a lot of things if you want to come on down and talk to us here. Uh, not only do we have some good swag to give away, which is always important when you're talking about, you know, giving away stuff for marathons, but also you get a chance to meet not only the race director, uh, Richard, here, but Ian Dobson, one of the uh, elite runners. Ian does a lot of training now with Team Run Eugene. And one of the big things that we've been talking about over the last oh gosh, a couple of weeks here, fellas, is basically been the marathon has been changed from April to July. Now, one of the things you'd mentioned with that that we've had is the idea of about running in the heat today. Perfect example, right? We're talking temperatures in the mid-90s. Now, obviously, the run will start at about 6, 7 in the morning for many folks, so we don't have to deal with that. This morning at about 6 a.m. is about 57 degrees, and it's pretty comfortable running-wise. But one of the things we wanted to ask in terms of Ian here is, Ian, you've trained in heat like this before for races you know what what are some things people need to take care of if you're training in this i think the biggest thing people need to practice is just taking in fluids while they're running so there's a ton of water stations out on the course there's plenty of water plenty of electrolytes plenty of nutrition out there it's just managing you know being able to take it in and process it while you're running um, and there's a month left there's plenty of time to practice that so when people are out running they should take a bottle with them uh, they should plan to do a loop where they can go buy water fountains or whatever it takes to make sure that they're getting fluids in. Um, because it's really, you know, the, it's not going to, it's not going to be anywhere near as hot as it is today during the marathon. The marathon will be done in the morning, but it, it could, it could be warmer than it has been in the past. And, you know, we don't want to ignore that, but we also, you know, want to make sure people understand that it's very, very doable. That's not a, that's not an issue really. I mean, we just need to prepare for it effectively. Absolutely. That's one of the things. And one of the ways they've prepared for that, Richard, the uh, Eugene Marathon director is here with me now. Richard, you'd said they put out some extra water stations as well. Yeah, yeah we've added uh, about three water stations. So we have a 17 total water stations on the course. We've added a, a medical uh, tent out at Valley River, which will help. We have a couple of uh, misting stations so people can cool off on the run. Um, so I think, you know, we've covered those bases. And so basically they are ready, that's for sure. Now, if you get an opportunity to come on down, we are raffling off free entry, if you're a slacker like myself, about getting into the uh, race here. It could be for the 5, 10, the half, or the full. Come on down and see us. We've got a whole bunch of giveaways as well. Guys, it's been a great afternoon. I'll tell you the best part, we're inside right now. <laughs> so you see, smart, avoiding the heat. Definitely. Signing up for the marathon is the easy part. Running is the hard part. Yeah, so exactly. Thanks, Justin. <laughs>